Hi guys, welcome back. And today's video is video girl. Oh my god, I'm addicted to rich looks. Today's video is going to be uh, a try on video. So I'll be trying new makeup that I have. Most of these products I've already tried before, but I've never shown them on camera before. So I wanted to really show them to you guys so you know that they're really good products or bad products if they are bad products. Um, this is the look that I came up with. And let's get right to it. So I've already prepped my skin. Now I'm gonna go straight to this primer. So this is Nature Essentials Wonder Cream. It's supposedly a sunscreen primer, I guess um, moisturizer in one. It's creamy and it's tacky, but it's good for my dry skin. I think it will be a very good primer because it's really sticky so foundation will stick right to it so this is good for dry skin this isn't new you've seen me use this a lot of times already the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation but um, I will be using a new brush with it the Sephora Sephora Pro Foundation number 47 brush I've already used this brush um, once yesterday and I love it so much it's really really good I've never found a brush a foundation brush that doesn't emphasize dry patches and flakiness except for this uh, flat foundation brush by Japonesque but it's really it's really small and it's not as soft as I want it to be it doesn't emphasize dry patches but it's not my holy grail so this one, on the other hand, is really, really soft, no dry patches, feels like nothing on your skin. I love it. So I want to show it to you on camera. is next is this afterglow by absolute new york illuminating 3d liquid highlighter so this is a liquid highlighter but i got the wrong shade um it's more of a bronze a liquid bronzer on me but it's really nice it's like a liquid hula um you know the liquid hula so i think it works the same way so what i do is just tap it in i know it's gonna look crazy but just wait it will work out fine. I've used this twice already. So this isn't exactly new to me, but it will be new to you. So that's what matters. Okay, then I blend it out with the foundation brush that I used so that it's seamless. And it will just bring back the warmth on my face. And I don't need to use a blush when I use this because it's already a peach tone. So it's like um, two products in one. See? Sad, pale, no color, warm, glowy, look like I just went to the beach. Isn't that what we want? <laughs> okay, love it, love it, love it. The next under eye concealing. So I will be using another absolute New York product. So this is called the Radiant Cover Brightening and Lifting Concealer. I'm the shade Light Neutral and it really works to highlight the center of my face as well. Then I'll blend with my fingers first and then finish blending with a brush. So you will feel like a cooling sensation when you use this because this is, this is a lifting concealer so it also reduces puffiness now i'm gonna set it with powder i'm gonna use again an absolute new york product so they have amazing products and i feel like nobody's talking about them and i feel like you know you should you should be talking about them they're really affordable they're really amazing products 
they work really well and I'm very picky with makeup but this works really well. So I'm gonna use my favorite setting brush, the Wayne Gauss airbrush with my HD Flawless Brightening Banana. See, it's a banana powder! Not enough brands have banana powders. This works in our skin tone when we want to highlight and conceal our under eyes. So you should definitely get a banana powder if you like highlighting and brightening your under eyes. This one's really good. I have dry skin and not all powders work well for me but this works really finely milled. I've also used this with the Real Technique setting brush and it works really well too. I have to set the rest of my face. And to set the rest of my face, I'll be using Flormar Invisible Loose Powder. So I'm just gonna use the puff that it comes with. And then remove the excess and just set this area right here because I don't want my contour to stick. This puff is very scratchy. I don't like this puff because it's really scratchy. I'm just gonna buff off the excess. So I'm gonna do my brows first. I'll be using the Absolute New York Perfect Eyebrow Pencil. So this is almost exactly like my Holy Grail Eyebrow Pencil, the Face Shop Designing Eyebrow Pencil, but it's triangular. The Face Shop Designing Eyebrow Pencil is rectangular. So that's the difference. And also, it's just slightly like a hair more pigmented than the Face Shop one. And slightly more uh, waxier also than the Face Shop one. Well, this one is more powdery. And brow gel. Um, I'm gonna use the Essence. Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. Looks nice, but I don't think the hold will last the entire day. Next, eyes. So for my eyes, I'll be using the Icon Eyeshadow Palette by Absolute New York. I'll be using my favorite shades, Toast, Gilded, and Cedar. So first, I'll prime my eyes with the NYX Eyeshadow Base. I'm just gonna set the area from my crease to my brow bone because I want the eyelid color to really pop. You don't want to set the eyelid because that will slightly wash out your eyelid color and I want to use a metallic eyelid color so I'm not gonna set that. I'm gonna wet my brush right right from the inner corner up to the center look at that now I'm gonna do the same on the other eye okay just wiping it off because I am savage <laughs> next I'm going in with Gilded. So I'm gonna spray it again first. Oh, this is a, such a waste of Fix Plus. And I'm gonna use Gilded right on the center. And then right on the outer corner, I'm gonna use Cedar. So I'm gonna get a more precise brush like this one. See how amazing that looks. So before it transfers everywhere, I'm gonna take a crease brush. I don't want to open it. I'm gonna take a crease brush and I'm gonna take the shade Nude and blend out the crease. See that brow gel is already losing its hold on my bad brow. So I'm just going to use a small crease brush, get nectar. 
So if you notice, it's like I did everything backwards from what you would usually see. You can either do that or do it from the brow bone down or do it from the lid up, whatever you want to do. So the Essence Brow Gel really isn't doing its job. You know, I've just applied it, but already my eyebrows are drooping. I'm gonna have to use the Maybelline Brow, Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. This is a really good hold, and I also like the way that they thicken my brows. But you just have to remove like almost all of the product on the wand so that it doesn't get messy and that it applies really nicely. So I'm just gonna swipe that product on my hand. It does have a tint, so you're gonna have to look for the right shade for you. Now my brows are ready to party! So lashes are done, I'm gonna contour. For my mascara, I use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara in case you're curious. Um, it's a really nice mascara. Although, I don't think it's worth the price. It's very good. If you like high-end products, then you're gonna love it. But if you like value for money products, uh, I don't think it's much value for money at all. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna use the Absolute New York Pro Contour Palette. I've already used this before and I absolutely love it. I think it's my new Holy Grail Contour Palette because... This is a really great shade. Look look at that shade. It's brown, it's gray, and then this is a yellow tone. It has a really nice sheen to it. It reminds me of the Sleek Highlight, which I really, really love. So I, I love this too. So I'm gonna use the contour first. So I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss airbrush, tap out the excess. So that's the contour done. Oh, forgot to highlight. Now I'm gonna highlight. Still same brush. choices right here. I have the new Caroline lipsticks. I have the Luster, which is a metallic lipstick, and the In Bloom, which is a really bright red. Um, right now, I'm more in the mood for a metallic lipstick because I have metallic eyes. So I'm gonna go with a metallic lipstick. You do have to build it quite a bit. Now, I will fix the lines with some lip liner. I really enjoyed making this video and I think I really love the finished look that I came up with. I'm not sure I would go out wearing this metallic lipstick. I mean, it looks nice, but I'm not sure. I'm quite shy. So yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps me a lot. And subscribe to my channel. I'll it's see you next free, time. So bye. You know, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think?